All right. One of the questions that I get a lot is um, how to kind of designate an email recipient from a, a, a the entry on a form or a form submission. So um, just a, a really quick example here. Your exact scenario is probably not going to match this, but you should be able to apply the concepts here to whatever it is you're working on. Uh, so essentially I just built a very simple form called sending emails through Power Automate where I'm asking them to select a recipient. I have five people here that they can email. Uh, they'll type in a subject, type in a message, and then in the flow this name will be used or the, the choice they make here will be used to look up the appropriate email address from a, uh, a, an array of data in that flow. So just to demo the form itself, I'll preview say I want to send a message to Peter saying over time this weekend could you oh, spell that right could you handle another two shifts on the weekend and we'll submit that and then our flow will run now uh, at this point the flow is pretty basic all it's doing is when the response is submitted it's getting the response detail so probably familiar with those already uh, but then the the important part the crux of this is this array so I'm using a composer act um, compose action um, <clears throat> I just renamed it to Compose Array because that's what I'm doing here. I'm building this array of data. Now an array is simply a list. In this case it's an array of objects and objects are key value pairs so each object in this array has a property of name with a value of their name, a property of email at their email address. Uh, now the format of this is very particular. You need to make sure that the the keys and the values are, are the property names and the value names are values rather uh, are surrounded by double quotes with commas and appropriate braces and brackets etc um, so you do need to make sure that you are careful with this because if you any misplaced character here will cause this to not work um, <clears throat> but basically what we'll do is we will uh, use the response data to filter this array to the to get the email address of the person that we want to send the email to. All right, so I'm going to just collapse this compose array action. So I'm going to use uh, to filter an array. There is actually an action called filter array, and we'll select that. And what array do I want to filter? Well, obviously the one that I just composed. So I'll select. Uh, click in the from field and select the outputs of compose array again that's an important reason to rename your action so you know which you know what data you're getting so I'll select those outputs now what I want to do here as I said is match up the name that's entered to the name in the array or the name property in the array so you need to understand a little bit about the the structure uh, the syntax for identifying those elements within the array. And essentially it comes down to the item, um, item just being the item in the array, and then a question mark, square bracket, and then the name of the property in uh, single quotes. So to show you what I mean by that, I'll go into the left-hand side of our filter expression here, click on expression, and I'm gonna type in item, open and close parenthesis, that basically just means the item from the array that I'm filtering and then a question mark square bracket single quote name now technically you don't need that question mark there it's more or less an error handling option which is good to have what it means is if you let's say there is no name property it will simply return a null value instead of failing that action so it's not required but something I just tend to always throw in there in case uh, so we'll click OK so basically what it's saying is find the element from that array where the name property is equal to and here we simply select that recipient response data and if we hit save and let me just go over to our flow again. 
I'll say test manually and we'll submit another response. Let's say Robert, Let's say good morning. How about some coffee? Submit that. So now we're waiting for our flow to run. It ran successfully. Uh, we can see that there's our compose array. This is what, it, by the way, this is what it should look like when you look at a flow run data. This is what your array should look like, kind of color coded where the property names are in red, the values are in blue, etc. Uh, and then when we're filtering that array. So here is the entire array input as because that's what we're inputting. And then the output is the one that matched, you know, where the name matched the selection. So there's our Robert Hogan. So one item is being output. Now this is still in the form of an array. It's just an array of one item. So we need to, to basically just step carefully to make sure we don't create ourselves or put ourselves into a loop. Now because it is returning a singular item, uh, we can take the easy way out and use an expression called first to get the first item from this array. There's only one item, so that'll always get us the right one. And then we also need to use that same array or, or property notation to get the email address. So what do I mean by that? Uh, let me click edit here. I'll add in another compose action. And we'll call this compose email. Now in the input, I'm going to go to expression and I'll select, uh, actually, sorry, want to get first. So type in the word first, open parenthesis, go to dynamic content and then select that filter array. So it's going to get the first response. There's only one, but that's fine uh, from that filter array. And then the important part is I want the email address because if I just use this, it will return the name and the email. I just want the email. So what I need to do is outside that second parenthesis. So it's saying go to the first, get from that first entry, retrieve me the email address. So the same notation, question mark, square bracket, single quote, email, and it'll put the closing single quote in bracket for you. Click OK. And we'll then save our flow, test it, and this time I'll just rerun it with the previously run test. There we go. So now we can see that it's filtering, returning Robert, and then the email is going to be his email address. So then in your, you know, let's say you want to send an email or do something else. So if I want to send an email, I would. Uh, in this case, I'll just use the Outlook send email action. And for the two, I can simply drop in uh, the dynamic content of that compose email action. Or if I, I don't really need this compose action, that was just to, to verify that the expression worked. I can simply copy this expression. So copy that and then put that expression into the to field here. So if you have if you have a fairly small flow with not a lot of actions, that extra compose action is adding you know a millisecond or two to the processing time. But if you have a large flow, you might want to collapse it to, to eliminate those kind of unnecessary composes. Uh, we'll click OK, but that's going to do the same thing. And then we'll just plug in the subject, and the body is going to be the message. If we hit save and test this again. Again, just rerunning that last test. And then when I go over to Robert's profile here, I should see in Outlook, there is that message saying, good morning, how about some coffee? So that is how you use a, how you can create an array in a compose action, how you filter that array and then re retrieve one element, in this case, the email address from that array. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, 
feel free to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions and have a great day.